tired of feeling sluggish. <laughs> Spring break's coming up and you're not looking too hot. Why don't you get up and do some physical exercise? Why would I do that? Well, actually, there's a lot of evidence-based benefits of physical exercise. Yeah, right. Like what? Physical exercise has many benefits such as weight management, brain health, strengthening the body, reducing risk of illness, reducing stress, and improving overall well-being, just to name a few. Whoa, I guess I'll give it a try. So, where do we even start? Before we begin anything, let's do some stretches. Why though? Stretching is proven to help performance, reduce risk of injury, help your joint mobility, increase blood flow, and overall helps your muscles move better. Are you ready? <laughs> exercises what do you want to start with cardio or lifting lifting what weights <laughs> here are a few of my favorite lifts weightlifting makes your bones and muscles stronger and increases the metabolism wow lifting weights is my new favorite now that we're done lifting what's that cardio thing you're talking about Cardio is an aerobic exercise that helps with weight loss, boosts immunity, and can even boost mood. That's just three of the many benefits. <laughs> Running is a great way to incorporate cardio into your daily life because it does not require equipment. Let's go! <laughs> what are some more cardio options? Jump roping is another one. Even simple moves like jumping jacks are considered cardio. What's next? It's crucial that after every workout you do some type of cool down. <laughs> it relaxes muscle and it reduces soreness. A certain type of cool down is yoga. Yoga can help individuals with relaxation and it highly reduces stress and anxiety. Some of my favorite poses. Yeah. Wow, that was really relaxing and really cooled me down from that intense workout. At the end of the day, exercise is quite simple and not hard to get started. It is important to change your lifestyle if you are not exercising already because it promotes healthy habits. You can start by just going on a walk around town or pulling up a free YouTube video. To get more into it, you could even purchase your own equipment, a gym membership, and a personal trainer. Doing physical exercise can fulfill different levels of the hierarchy of needs created by Maslow. Beginning with physiological needs, it relates to this because exercise helps fulfill needs for proper sleep, nutrition, and overall well-being. It relates to love and belonging by the connections people can make throughout the process of physical exercise and working out. It applies to Maslow's level of self-esteem because it can boost esteem and strength. Lastly, it applies to self-actualization because physical exercise can help individuals promote to be the best versions of themselves that they can possibly be, both physically and mentally. Physical exercise also relates to self-determination theory from chapter 10 of our textbook because it can enhance our sense of autonomy, which is one of the key components of this theory. Exercise aligns with goals and can promote in strength motivation. It can also promote intrinsic motivation. Overall, physical exercise is a great way to improve both mental and physical well-being. Exercise can be used throughout all stages of life, and it is good to start early to make it a healthy habit. As we have mentioned, physical exercise has many different benefits and relates to Maslow's hierarchy of needs on multiple levels. What, what are, are you waiting for? Get up and move your body. <laughs> <laughs>